teachers of Reddit, what are some of the best notes you've intercepted in class? 7-12 science teacher here. I've confiscated notes containing completed or in progress games of hide the dong. A game where one student draws a dong, passes it to another student who then must transform the drawing into something inconspicuous. When you confiscate drawings of slides, giraffes, elephants, ostriches, and various fruit displays, it's pretty obvious what's going on. This actually sounds like a really fun way to pass the time. I was teaching 3rd grade and intercepted a note informing students that vampire class was being held during recess, and that everyone had better attend because the vampire king was getting hangry. That is kind of brilliant for 3rd grade. Intercepted a note from an 8th grade student to the girl next to her. The girl who wrote the note could be really, really cruel to others. I don't think it's cool to read these things aloud in class, nor do I make a big deal out of them in the moment. I pocket them and generally throw them out. My own curiosity got the best of me, though, and, once class is ended for the day, I read it. She'd written hey, you are really nice, I hope you have a nice day. Something about how innocent and kind that was, coming from this kid in particular, really stayed with me. She was probably just setting up the other student for the kill. Real lemon, make them think you like them. Hurts much worse when the inevitable betrayal comes. One time I snagged a dirty note, telling the other person what they were going to do that person. It went something like, Ima frick you so hard baby, you gonna moan so loud the neighbors will hear you. What a poet. Not quite on topic, but very related. I had a high school professor who would answer your phone if it rang during class, on speaker. He definitely talked to someone's pod dealer once, who tried real hard to convince the professor that he was delivering flowers, not weed. In my second year teaching my cell phone rang in my bag. It was this tiny crappy classroom, so my bag was sitting near a student. He proceeded to answer it for me, very professionally, and take a message. The caller was my mom, sigh. I taught in another teacher's classroom. She would often sit at her desk doing paperwork while I taught. One day I intercepted a note they were trying to get to the other teacher. It was a forged love letter from me. At lunch I gave it to her myself. A couple years ago I had this substitute. She was pretty fun and cool. This kid was passing a note along to one of his friends. The teacher caught him, handed it attention, and sent him to the office. She then read the note and threw it in the trash. Someone picked it up after she left the class for something. It read something like this. Mrs. Comma is the funnest sub we've had. The irony. I snatched a note from a student only to realize it was the handout I just asked the class to pass around. Not a teacher, but one of my teachers saves all of the notes she finds in class and reads them to her other classes. Some of the best include, as a self-respecting heterosexual female, would you make out with Brittany? And, getting my license tomorrow, MR be so wasted. I have intercepted many over the years and usually just highlight the finer points of the conversation or spell words correctly before handing them back. I remember two over the last 8 years. One was a drawing of dead babies in car rolling off a cliff. The other was funny though. A student wrote to his friend, I want to frick my girlfriend so bad. His friend replied, yeah, me too. The other kid didn't find it funny, but I did. I didn't laugh out loud but in my head I was cracking up. I had a physics teacher in 11th grade named Mrs. Ferguson. She was the oldest teacher there. Everybody gave her a hard time, including me, but she was still cool about everything. Nobody really did work in her class or paid much attention when she taught, because half of the class just passed around the answers to tests. Anyways, we always pass notes in her class every day. She got fed up one day when she saw me passing a note and said, Juice that fool, if you pass another note, I'm going to snatch it and read it I knew she was serious. I waited a good 10 minutes or so, wrote another note, and passed it to my partner sitting beside me. I did it in the most obvious way, and she caught me. Next thing you know, she's reading a note to herself that says, Hey man, Mrs. Ferguson is my favorite teacher I've ever had. I love her class and I wish I could take it all day. She smiled and told me it was sweet, but to stop passing notes. She died the following year from a brain aneurysm or something. I like to think I made her day for one time out of the hellish school year. 
Finally a story involving a student aware the teacher is going to read the note that doesn't end in the most gruesome and or vile thing the student could come up with. One of those classic do you like me notes, but at the bottom there was only one box that said yes. Dang that kid was slick. It's extra harsh when she draws a no box. I'm not a teacher but in 5th grade our teacher intercepted a note sent to me from my friend. The note was his offer to pay me $5 if I hugged a girl I liked during recess. Teacher held us back before letting us go to recess and talked to us about it. A week later after lunch he told me the offer was still on the table so I went for it. Problem was I tried to do it really fast and run away so what actually happened was I tackled her then ran away really embarrassed. The next day he gave me $5 worth of quarters. My teacher kept me after class that day because she had found out I had tackled the girl. She asked me if I had done it and my friend paid me to hug her. I said no and walked away trying not to let her hear the 20 quarters in my pocket. I'm not a teacher but I had something taken up from me when I was in second or third grade at a private Christian school. A friend and I would take a piece of paper and fold it into 3 RDS and draw a person creature. If I drew the head, he'd draw the arms and body, and then I'd get it back and draw the legs. But we'd fold it so you couldn't see what the other had drawn and it would be a weird hodgepodge of limbs and such. We'd already drawn a few and on the last one, the one that got taken up. Of course, I had drawn the bottom portion. Dongs. Dongs everywhere. Dong legs with dong feet with dong toes and a long, dangling dong between. I was mortified when the teacher took it. Now I wish I still had it because that was some great practice at drawing human anatomy. I was a sub for a few years after college before realizing the joys of teaching are nowhere near compensation enough to have to deal with parents and some of their spawn. I found a letter after class on the floor of a middle school biology class that said I bet Mr. PC Renegade has a baby dong. I was so mortified I declined offers to sub at that school after that for months. Edit. No I won't show you my dong. Stop asking. I fricked your mom. I fricked your mom. Your mom sucked my dong. Written by two 12 year olds. Obviously. Bro what's her xbox live? My personal favorite was a student that wrote dumbass. Mr. Bugman Mac 14. 3. 3. 3 inches a lot of mixed feelings on that one. Uh, I. I. It's not like I like you Big Man Mac 14 senpai. Barker. Obligatory not a teacher but he'll answer anyway. I was a freshman in high school and some girl handed me a note and apparently motioned for me to pass it along to let's call him Chris. I did not notice that part because I was surprised she handed me something to begin with. So I opened it. She was asking him if he wanted to go to the homecoming dance and I looked up and said yes. Got the most horrified look back from here while her friend giggled. Then I realized my mistake. I thank you text messages sophomore year onwards. You saved me further embarrassment. Oof I physically cringed at this one. Oh boy. I was a student when this happened. Probably 7th or 8th grade. So at my school we had a very notorious substitute teacher. She was notorious for one reason and one reason only. Her weight. There was no question it was a medical issue not just poor health. I mean it has to be near impossible to get as big as she by just eating poor and not exercising. So one day a couple of my friends were giggling to themselves in the corner as one of the artsy kids scribbled on a piece of paper. This caught the teacher attention. Let's call him is. Sushi waddled over and demanded that he hand her the paper. To which the kid turned the brightest red I have ever seen on a person. When she saw the paper she instantly started sobbing and left the room. He had made a drawing with the title Ms. Sue's view of the classroom to which he drew a few desks. Each with middle schooler sized chicken wings sitting at it. I feel so bad for Ms. Sue. I was a senior in high school and it was the end of year so I was doing anything but work assigned. During a lecture in an AP course I wrote on a piece of paper. There are footprints on the ceiling. Pass it on. I have no clue why I found it hilarious but every time the next person got it, they'd look up at the ceiling with a confused look, resulting with my friend and me laughing uncontrollably. My teacher noticed, took the note and looked up with the same confused look and I thought my guts were going to rip. She was a pretty cool teacher. Chuckled, then threw it away. I proceeded to write this note in every class I had that day. If you are in school, I suggest trying this. It's harmless and very entertaining. If anyone has heard of this, no it wasn't my idea. I found the idea on Reddit that morning. 
not a teacher, but I left a rather threatening note to one of my classmates in the first grade. I was dumb and left it sitting right in my desk as I left for lunch, but my nosy ass teacher decided to pick it up and read it for herself. I don't remember too many specifics about the note, nor do I even remember what this kid had done to pee me off. But I do remember including the phrase I'll be back with weapons. Long story short, I got called in for a private talk sometime later that day, and told that I'd be sent to the office if I did something like that again. The teacher was surprisingly cool about the whole thing, though. Every year when it comes time to teach the Declaration of Independence, I have my wife write a breakup letter and fold it into one of those paper footballs. I pretend to find it in the hall and then read it to the class. At the end, I ask them if they want to know who wrote it. They get so mad when I tell them it says Dear Britain, from America. This is so nerdy and I am so happy. Not a teacher, but when I was in early middle school we had a teacher who would read the notes out loud if she caught you passing them. I wasn't as sneaky as I thought I was, and next thing I know the whole class found out I wanted to marry this girl I had just started talking to. I did not live that down for years. When I was in 6th grade, there was a homeroom PTA meeting and all of the kids' parents were seated at their kids' desks. The teacher, Mrs. C, was a crotchety old woman with a club foot. She started off the meeting by informing the parents about what her expectations of each child were, homework policy, grading policies, etc. Apparently she came across as rather stern and stuffy, because my dad passed a note to my mom. As my mom read it, Mrs. C took notice and said, jokingly, would you like to read that note in front of the class, Mrs. Tiff to Flurry's mom? My mom just about crapped herself, and was so relieved that Mrs. C was only kidding, because the note read, God knew what he was doing when he gave her that foot. Note says anything you want if you're allowed to read it yourself. In 10th grade science class, my buddy and I were passing a note back and forth to pass time. We were talking about a girl when he wrote I'd like to frick up the butt. The teacher got the note and read it verbatim. I'd like to frick up the butt. My buddy responded I didn't know you were into that sort of thing miss. Dot. Laughs everywhere. I got detention for a day. He got detention for two weeks. He framed the note. Worth it. I used to have a teacher in middle school that would do the read aloud thing. Late 80s, early 90s, when they caught a note being passed. I remember a specific time where it was a note that they had been passing back and forth and it just talked about how they had been meeting up and making out and stuff. The teacher is reading it out loud and laughing and laughing thinking it is hilarious. I remember looking around the room and while it started kind of funny, it was clear about halfway through that it was kind of going too far. He finished reading it but I remember seeing a look in his eyes and I never saw him do it again. Just one of those moments in life you remember forever for no real discernible reason. And then, I, buried my, dong in her. I was actually the student whose note got intercepted. I tried to pass a friend a note including a joke I thought was really funny at the time, around grade 7. She caught me and read the note slowly and with her thick accent. Why do gnomes laugh when they play soccer? Because the grass tickles their balls. Not a teacher, but when I was in first grade, I was writing silly notes to a friend and wrote Hey Kyle, I like to lick the toilet. He laughed a bit too hard and the teacher saw it and read it out loud. Got in trouble at school and got my butt whooped at home too. Kyle and I were no longer friends after that. Overreaction 101. Two students were passing a note back and forth in one of my afternoon classes. I'd had some discipline issues with them towards the beginning of the year, but that had been months before so I made intercepting it a low priority. Eventually, it became so obvious that I had to intervene. The note was simple. It was weights and cash values. They were negotiating. Immediately I assumed the obvious, weed, and grabbed them both and took them to the hall and got security. I think I even laughed because it was so blatantly obvious what was going on. I thought only an idiot would do something like that. Turns out I was way off. My two businessmen were negotiating the price for dry chilies. One was in culinary arts and the other grew peppers in his biology class. The cooking kid wanted really hot chili powder for his chili. I apologized through my laughter and bought the chili powder for him. For the record, the chili was okay-ish. Way too many beans. 
Miss it each the euphorium is well paying. I thought it meant something horrible so bawled him out in front of the class. That was pretty embarrassing. Not a teacher and not exactly intercepted but, in second grade I was feeling really sick. I asked to go to the nurse and the teacher refused. We were supposed to be writing a journal entry and then have her read over it. So I wrote in my journal that my teacher wouldn't let me go to the nurse so I wanted to kill myself. She screamed when she read it. Ended up meeting with the guidance counselor and they called my parents. I was a disturbed child. I caught a student passing a note that said banana mac peeling and had a doodle of an anthropomorphic banana riding a surfboard. Student. My chem teacher caught my note saying corn is amazing. I found a love note between two sophomores on the floor of the hallway. The boy was trying very hard to win her back. The note consisted of many promises but the one line that stood out was please think about it, I'll love you, if you want. We taped it to our staff fridge so all could live in its glory. Not a note, but a student was giggling at his phone. I quietly creeped up behind him, and he and his friends started a group chat with memes about my booty. He was mortified. I pretended to be peed and gave him a detention, but it was pretty hilarious. Squats for days. Intercepted this one in a 5th grade classroom. Front to Eliza. Drawing of a rose. Back will you go out with me? Yes or no? I got a really good one last week. It was really clever. Really made me hopeful for the future of the literary arts. It read. D's nuts. A few years ago I got a detention for writing my pen is leaking because my teacher thought it said my penis leaking. I mean come on it doesn't even make sense. First off, no one has passed a paper note in the last 7 years. It's all done with texts. But, when I used to get them my favorites were the ones where high school sophomores would spout about how in love they were and how the last 5 days have been the best of their lives. Cracked me up every time. I have to do observation hours as part of my degree plan. As this, I do whatever the real teacher tells me to do. Some teachers have you run their class and critique you. Others have you grade papers. Some have you just sit in the classroom. You are essentially a free aid if they want to use you this way. So the teacher had me act as an aid and keep distracted students on task. As I was walking papers from one side of the room to the other, the teacher snapped, with her fingers, at some students passing a note and instructed me to read it out loud. I intercepted the note and read it, then looked up at her and shook my head slightly. The teacher thought it was embarrassing for the girls and wanted me to make an example out of them. She insisted so I read it out loud. Jesus class is boring. You have been spotted by the rare flying floofer. If you comment good boy below he don't steal your hot dogs anymore. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.